Robert. Yo, it's shaking AC. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> speechless. You're speechless. Yeah. Right? Why are you speechless? What happened? Play bigger. Performance yeah. launch happened, and it has been so overwhelming and so, yet yeah, like, overwhelmingly exciting. Like okay. the, oh my gosh, like the amount of posting we've been doing and the amount of engagement and the amount of direct messages coming in and signups and ah, something's happening, Robert. My timer's <laughs> going off. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, let me just get... So yeah, so between that and the usual round tables, oh my gosh, things are happening in the AC Inc. world. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for it as well. It's uh, like there's still a lot to do, but there's a lot that could come out of it too, outside of just these high, high performance, high achieving performance group, high achieving franchisors, uh, performance groups. Um, so let's talk about that. Like how, how can this morph? Because there's, there's yeah. a ton of interest. Yeah, so here's what's really interesting that happened that I didn't, I don't think we talked about you and I, and I don't think I really foresaw this happening I kind of thought about it, but I, I don't know. I just, you know me, I just do things. I don't try not to overthink, right? Um, so there's people that have signed up who are the marketing person already, the marketing person for like a bigger franchise company um, or the franchise development person for these companies. And I, and I shouldn't be surprised about that because the people that come to my round tables, my, my free weekly round tables that are very random, you know, it, it's same thing. We have a mix of, it's not always like the franchise or CEO or president. It can be anybody on the franchise company team. And so those people are, are, are being attracted to the play bigger groups as well. So that's been really cool. And I, it's made me realize that, I mean, I guess I already knew this, but it's just all coming together that we can have groups that are specifically like the marketing people in a franchise company. We can have the franchise development people in their own group. If they, I mean, I think that's where they're going to want to be, you know, the founders, the field people, like there's so much opportunity. I'm really excited. Yeah. And you know why I think that's important? It's, it's something you mentioned to me probably like an hour or two ago um, on one of our other calls that like franchising is hard. Okay, this is not. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Oh wait, like it's not. It's, We're admitting that out loud. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's hard. It's not easy. It's not step and repeat. It's not for everyone. So the same way a franchisor might think that, hey, I'm going to build this model and I'm going to give it to another entrepreneur to to use. People with skill sets, like in marketing for anything, or for example, or in f like customer service, they might think if if this applied in this world. I could just step and repeat it into franchising, but no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, you've been there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm done laughing for a minute. All right. So I think what you're getting at is, is something really cool. So, you know, we, people that are watching this might not know that we are actually piloting a marketing, a marketing round table of, of your marketing person and, and the different in, in the uh, pilot group for play bigger. There's so much going on. Like you're like a mad scientist in like a lab coat with a pocket protector and, you know, glasses with the tape, just beakers and flasks and stethoscopes and photosynthesis. And you're just making explosions. And you're like, <laughs> what else could I come Is up with? Is that me wearing that? Yeah. Yeah. You oh, bust okay. out the, the swinging saloon doors with your hair standing up and you <laughs> lift, lift your goggles. Whoa, those two compounds did not combine. Mine. Yeah, exactly. Like not everything works out as you expect, expect it. As long as it doesn't actually explode and burn your eyebrows off, you're probably yep. good, right? Yeah. So, okay. So in the meantime, we've got this, you know, marketing round table going, well, marketing performance group. And I have to be honest, I just, I didn't even really think to like call it what, like it really it is, our, it is a play bigger performance group for marketing people of your business, of, you know, my other uh, pilot group franchisors their marketing people and how this came about. I think this is what needs to be talked about. This is very, this was a, this was a revelation that I had that I, it really surprised me that I'd never thought about this before. Cause I lived and breathed, you know, on both the corporate side of the, like the franchisor and as a franchisee. And I experienced all the things I'm seeing, but it, it just didn't hit me till recently that 
franchise marketing people, people that do marketing in a franchise company are usually hired for their marketing skills. So you bring in this marketing person and now this person is expected to know how to understand franchisees and like franchisees also then aren't always trained, <laughs> trained to know that like the marketing person isn't your employee. Like, so what happens I see is either the franchisees treat the marketing person at the corporate office like their staff and boss them around and aren't, aren't fair with them or the other way around. The marketing person can't get the franchisees to do what they're supposed to do, but they haven't been trained in all those soft skills that the field person or the, or the founder is going to maybe hopefully naturally have. And so that marketing person thinks, well, if I just send them something, they're going to do it. We all know that's not true. Like yeah. the, yes, the high performing franchisees that are out there that are listening to this, we know that you actually do things, but there are people on the team sometimes that need a little bit more, uh, you know, turnkey uh, situations like uh, for franchisees. So my point I'm trying to make is that how much value there is in bringing these franchise marketing people together in a play bigger performance group to learn from each other what's working in both franchise development. I mean, there's the other thing. We're expecting them to do almost like two jobs, franchise development marketing and supporting the franchisees at the local level. And really a third thing is keep the corporate uh, unit uh, growing, right? So we're expecting them to do all these things. Like let's bring them together to learn from each other, from different brands, hold each other accountable and do all the things that play bigger does. So we've got that pilot group that we've only had one meeting and we've got, we've got more coming, but I'm, I'm really excited. Like for the marketing pilot group, I'm really excited to do more. Are we just confusing people right now? No, it, 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 it sounds to me like you, you've basically orchestrated the Angela Cote self-taught institute for franchise awesomeness. Like people are going to join these uh, play bigger groups and these, there's like courses, right? I'm going to go to the marketing course. I'm going to go oh, to yeah. all these courses and they're, they're taught amongst the people that are within those round tables, plus all the yeah. other cool stuff that comes along. With it. Well, yeah. So before we, you're right, that's the bigger vision. But for now, um, I think there's a lot of opportunity, even for the field people, for example, you know, you've heard me millions of times say I was that female 20 year old boss's daughter went in to try to teach these older male franchisees how to run their business, which I got, you know, put through the ringer for real. Well, if I had had like other, if I could have connected with another field person from another two, three other brands, and a coach like myself, somebody else saying, oh, well, here's why the franchisees aren't listening or here's, here's what you're saying wrong. Maybe try this, go back and try that. Uh, oh, they're not compliant because you haven't done that. What? I could have had those answers like at my fingertips if somebody had been running Play Bigger Performance Groups back then in 1998. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's what it's all about. You know, franchise development people, same thing. Let's bring four franchise development people together and I will facilitate these set play bigger groups of four franchise development people that can learn from each other and just share best practices, hold each other accountable to goals and, and so on. So the, the power of the masses is incredible. Once, once people connect and they, and they share their, their brain power, oh, you could do yeah. anything. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. Um, I always talk about the, I think I got this from my dad always saying leveraging the collective wisdom of the franchisees we talk about this all the time and I've said this, you know, in a lot of my social media this past week in the launch that we talk about f helping the franchisees leverage their group and to learn from each other. Well, what about all these other opportunities for founders to leverage other founders and learn from them? And like I said, the marketing franchise marketing person in the company to learn from another brand and so on. So yeah. that's the goal here. Let's just play bigger folks. I'm honestly, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. <laughs> You just, okay. Okay. <laughs> Is that why you're like fading? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna fall like, over. No. Are you going to eat a whole chicken? I'm going to eat two chickens. Gonna, okay, there's going to be well, a chicken party in my stomach. All right. Well, let's wrap it up here. Go eat your chicken and go be, be awesome. awesome. <laughs>